Hello guys, I hope you guys are doing really well. In today's video, we're gonna review the K-Beauty foundation. So K-Beauty has come up with another launch. This time it is a foundation. So without wasting any more time, let's start with the video. So this is the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation. It comes in the standard K-Beauty packaging. Inside you get a foam layering so that your product does not get ruined in this patch. And inside, there you go, the glass packaging. It is for 1200 rupees. So this is how the shade looks like. This is the shade 120 light. The undertone is yellow. Although I'm more on the neutral side, but this is the closest match I could find. So here I've taken out one pump and I'm just spreading across the face in small dots. That is something I apply every foundation and I'm using my pack foundation brush to blend this in. And you can see with just one light layer, you can see a little bit of coverage there. And I really like how natural of a coverage this is. And it contains hyaluronic acid, which really just makes any product really dewy. It attracts moisture into your skin. So really great ingredients chosen as well. I have applied a lot on my forehead just to check how it wears out on top of the facial hair because some foundations do have a tendency that they sit on facial hair really badly and that is not a good look at all but surprisingly this looks really nice and this is how it looks with the makeup on and I think it's pretty natural and pretty dewy to me. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section. So now that you've seen the demo, how it is looking on my face right now, let me tell you what are my thoughts about this product. So first thing I would say is that I love that they have come up with 20 shades. I think that's a lot to choose from, especially catered for Indian skin tone. So if I were to categorize the number of shades in each category, I would say in light to medium, they have 10 shades and from medium to deep, they have again 10 more shades. So you are sure to find your perfect match, but I think there are foundations in the market that come with 44 shades as well, just like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I think they can come up with more shades, but I think it's a good start. It's finally a brand that is listening and bringing up with more and more shades. Thing number two I really liked about it is that the undertone is mentioned right next to the shade. So my undertone is, I would say my undertone is pretty neutral, falling more on the yellow side. So I can do with neutral and both yellow undertone foundations. So the shade that I have is 120Y light so y stands for yellow n stands for neutral and p stands for pink and i think it's a good match for me because right now i have applied the foundation just on my face and if i put that right next to my body it is a good match i don't like matching my foundation with my neck because my neck is sort of a different like, color tone but I would like to I like to match it with the rest of the body so if somebody is looking at the full picture my face should match with my body not just with my neck so that's a good tip if you always struggle finding the perfect match match it with your body the majority amount of tone that you have in your body match your foundation with that and you can never go wrong so i think if you have the same skin tone like i do then 120y light would be a really good match for you another thing they claim is that it is a hydrating foundation i absolutely agree with them it is very comfortable finish i would not say that this is oh my god so dewy 
this is right in the middle i will categorize this as a satin finish not very dewy not very matte it's right in the middle which i really like because people with combination and oily skin can also enjoy this despite being the fact that this is a hydrating foundation and this will work across all seasons because the kind of texture the kind of formula that this is i like the bottle i think it's really sleek really easy to put in your on your vanity really easy to carry with love 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 that this has a pump that just makes life so easier it does not have a lock so if you want to travel without the cap you cannot do so make sure the cap is always there and the cap shuts really nicely on top so there are less chances of this getting open in your bag when you're carrying with it so again a plus for that now if i were to rate this product i would say 515 for coming up with 20 shades 515 for naming the correct skin tones pink neutral and yellow and i would say 515 on availability it is available on nika stores and also on the nika website so you can get this from there the claims that they're making that this is hydrating it's a very comfortable formula i have combination skin and the foundations that are more on the dewy side are very hydrating they make me sweat especially in summer but right now that's not the case i have nothing on in my room right now i'm sitting in front of very warm light everything else the fan is off the ac is off i'm just sitting in natural air and i am not sweating at all which is a plus that is the indication that combination skin people will absolutely love this so that was all for this video. Will I recommend this foundation? Absolutely. The only con would be the price. It is 1200 rupees for 30 ml of product. I'm not sure as of now if K-Beauty is trying to be a drugstore product or it's trying to be a high-end product. I think it's right in the middle. But 1200 for a foundation, if you wear foundation every single day, if foundation is something you cannot do without, you can definitely buy this you will not regret it but if you just want found want to buy a foundation once in a while and you don't want to spend this much money then i think you can skip this for now if you have the budget for it definitely go for it another recommendation to k beauty is that if they can come up with a mini version of this foundation that would be great great for traveling and if they can cut down the price as well in the mini version i think that would be an absolute best seller so that was all for the review i will see you all in the next video bye, -bye.